Today we're going to Italy! My name is Helen Velasquez and I'm a Mexican traveler and speaking of travel, I think it's time for going to a new adventure I thought it'd be a nice background, but you know what? It's really windy I woke up at 6.30 am I gotta tell you some news Some of you might know if you were looking at my Instagram Just like crazy promoting this amazing experience and well, I'm gonna get to it The point is, today we're going to Italy! A dream come true I just can't even wait and I'm gonna miss this monkey so much Django you're gonna be okay my amor without further ado come to us with the airport to go to Italy okay we made it to the airport suitcases ready so excited Arrivederci Ireland Rome here we go <laughs> Are these complimentary to your own? <laughs> Hello, we just got to our BNB in Napoli. I must say, I never thought it'd be so similar to Mexico. It is very insane. Um, all the balconies with shirts wow. hanging out. A lot of traffic, kind of like these motorcycles passing by really close to you and then this area What's wrong babe? <laughs> Don't scare me, she's looking outside and This area was like a market and they sell all these Not necessarily like brand items, like kind of like dupes Glasses and handbags and magazine stands It was very Mexican, I never thought it would be my first impression of Italy But we stayed in a 
B&B called Napoli Boutique. Boutique. Thank you. Grazie. So we're happy that we're here. You know, I don't know why I'm like shocked about her uh, black design choice. It's really dark. <laughs> like even the curtains, just everything's black. I couldn't. If it was my place, I couldn't have it like this. It's okay because you're seeing one night. Maybe we're in some weird cult B&B. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see what to do tonight. We're pretty tired, so we might just crash for a bit. So just making clear what Keith was looking at, that he looked quite impressed. I, when we booked this place, it said it had a balcony and I was like, that's cute, it's wrong, who doesn't want a balcony for cute pics, right? Well, no, when you look down, <laughs> this is what I'm seeing right now. Oh my God, what's wrong with the rubbish people? Like, I can't even, see what's a chair in the middle of the street. Oh, there's two chairs. Oh my god, this is just... All the rubbish, man. So it's definitely not the best area for tourists. Whatever. We'll just ignore that and move on. And that's the update for now. Uh, it's freaking hot. <laughs> Like, that's the place? Oh my god, it is the famous... You can walk. The famous Pizzeria da Michele. That's just so insane. The amount of people is crazy. So we didn't make it to like, the Pizzeria da Michele. I don't know if I can say it here because we're not here. It's open since 1860. Oh, something to admire. Let's see. I feel like that's my favorite. I don't know. If you know who this is, let me know. I really have no clue. But anyways. Pizzeria de Figliole. Sorry, what does that mean, Figliole? Que es? Es ah. oh, son. Uh, <laughs> I must say I thought I would feel way more confident speaking Italian. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, grazie. Mm. This is not what I in my <laughs> Is this I mean, not what I expected. Grazie. <laughs> I'm gonna over the calzone by accident. No, no, that's the way they are here. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm like, looks like a milanesa, like a chicken uh, yeah. butter bread. I don't know, it's weird. It looks like a fish. Let's see which one's that one. <gasps> Look at the inside. Uno apetito. In summary, this one is kind of like, I don't even know, not spinach, but I really can't remember the world. If I remember, I'll put it here with like pork. Uh, this one is de completa. It was so good. Like this sauce with like ricotta cheese and I think like salami. That's the two ones we asked for. It's nice, but it gets quite greasy at the end. And the whole thing is only 4 euro, so definitely recommend it gets greasy. 